Let's go to page 185 and start with number 2. You have 6x squared y squared plus 8x squared y. So when you're doing a factoring, again, you go through the, the checklist over here. So, so do the step 1, common factor. So this one you can factor out the 6 and 8, you can factor out the 2. So you get 3x squared y squared plus 4x squared y. So do the number, then you do the alphabet. So you got x squared and uh, x, uh, x cubed. So you can factor out the x squared. So it becomes 3y squared plus 4xy. And then you can factor out the y after that. So it'd be 3y plus 4x. And that's it. So this is your common factor. So you get 2x squared y times 3x plus 4, uh, 3y. plus 4x. Okay. Now you don't have to do this. If you can see it directly from here to here, you can do that. Okay. But this is like in case if you don't know how to get a CCF, this is how you do it step by step. Okay. Number 4, you got z squared minus 12z plus 36. Okay. So, so step 1, common factor. That's nothing to factor out. So you go to step two, special factor, three terms. You do you check for the perfect squares. So this is a square, this is a square, so you want to try that. Okay, so again, so just go through the checklist. Okay, so go and get your perfect square. And then after that, you need to get so from this you need to get this. From this you need to have a six. Okay. And so to, to match the middle, first you match the sign, right? You need to get negative. The number 2 times 6 is 12, and alphabet Z. So when everything is all matched, everything all work out, that means your factor is correct. If it doesn't match, then you have to keep going until you get to the step 4, okay? Okay, number 6. You got 121 x squared minus 1. Okay, so go to step one, common factor, nothing can factor. Go to step two, two these are two terms, you have to check this one. So this is a difference of squares, so you got square minus square, right? One is, this is one square, so you have to break into conjugate, okay? Okay, so you're going to get two sets and plus minus, right? So now you have to figure out how you're going to get this, right? So to get that, you need to have 11 times 11. 11 times 11 is 121. To get this, you need to have an x and x, right? And then plus, so 11 times 11 is 121. x times x is x squared. Plus times minus is minus. And you'd have a 1 times 1 give you 1, okay? And that's it. <coughs> okay, so again, this give you, so this would be, so 121 x squared minus 1. Okay, number eight, you have 9s squared minus 24s plus 16. So again, step one, common factor, not, nothing to factor. Go to step two, one, two, three, three times. You have to check for perfect square. So this is a perfect square, perfect square. So you want to try that, okay? So go and get perfect square. Okay, so to get nine, I need to have uh, three. Right? 3 squared give me 9, and I need to have S. S squared give me S, right? And to get that 16, I need to have a 4. Okay? 4 squared give me 16. Now, again, all this is just guessing. So you have to try to match the middle to check if your guess is correct. So to get minus, I need to have a minus, right? And to get 24, so 2 times 4 is 8, times 3 is 24. So I can multiply all this together, you get that. Okay? And so this is it. Okay, so let's get to number 10. You have 4h squared minus 81. So step one. Okay, so step one, common factor. That's not into factor. So we need to go to step two. So two terms. Okay, two terms is a difference of squares. So you have to do the conjugate. Okay, okay so going to get two sets, so it would be plus, minus. Okay, so to get 4, 
you need to get 2 times 2 give you 4, h times h give you h squared, plus times minus give you minus, 9 times 9 give you 81. Okay? So this is the difference of square. Okay, and next one, you got 16x squared plus 40xy plus 25y squared. Okay, so you can go through that list. Step one, common factor, nothing to factor out. Step two, three times one, two, three, so you have to, tr that's, that's your B. So you have to try the perfect squares, okay? So this is a perfect square, perfect square, so, so that is this one here. So get your parentheses square. Then you have to try to get each one of these. So you need to have four square to get 16. You need to have X square to get X square. And then the, the, the end to get 25, I need to have a five. To get Y square, I need to have Y, right? So five square is 25, Y square is Y square. Now in the middle, you have to, you have to match the, 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 the sign. The number two times five is 10 times four is 40. And the alpha big X and the Y. So it all match, okay? And so that's it, okay? So you can, so this came from multiply all this together. So square this, you get that. Square this, you get that. Multiply, you get that. Okay. You got 9x4 minus 16z squared. Okay, so step one, common factor, nothing to factor out. So to go to step two, two terms. You got square minus square, so that is this kind here. So you need to break into conjugate, right? Okay. So get two set plus minus, right? So you need to break each one down. So you need to get three times three to get nine. You need to have x squared times x squared to get x to the four. Plus times minus give you minus. You need to have four times four give you 16. And you get z times z to give you z squared. Okay, number 16, okay, you have P3Q minus PQ. Okay, so step one, common factor to see what they have in common. So in this case, you have something in common. So you can factor the P. So you got P squared Q minus Q. Okay. And then after that, you can go down the alphabet, so would be Q. So factor the Q, you get P squared minus one. Right? Again, when you, when you factor, you should divide, right? And you can check. This times this give you that. This times this give you that, right? And so that's, that's it for step one. So you got PQ times P squared minus one. So that's your step one, okay? Then after that, after you, you go down the list. So step one is done. That's that. Step two, okay, you got P squared minus one. So that is this one here, right? You got square minus square. That's the difference of squares. So you have to break into conjugates. But you have to follow, follow through with your step one, okay? So that's your conjugate. So break it down, so you need to P times P give you P squared, plus times minus give you minus, one times one give you one, okay? And that's it. So that's your step one and step two A. Okay, so you got eight P three plus one. Okay, so go through your checklist. Step one, common factor, not into factor. Step two, is that you have to be this difference of square. So this is not difference, right? Difference means subtraction. So this has to be square minus square. So this is not it. Okay, so so that's step two is not it. So three, the cube. Well, this is the cube, right? So that's going to make everything into cubes. So this would be two to the three. P to the three plus one to the three, right? One to the three power is still one, right? Okay, so this is the cube. So when you're doing the cube, you get one parenthesis the same size and get the one that's bigger. And then for the for the cube, right? It's very simple. You just going to get rid of all the cube. So you're gonna get you're gonna get two p plus one, okay? So this this is a single power. And then after that, you need to get the two power, okay? So again, this is a single power times the the two power will give you the three power. Okay, so, so you can use either one. So you can square that to get four, or two times four give you eight, either way. Okay, and then you're gonna get P squared. So again, you can square this, you get that, square this, you get that, or you can do two times four give you eight, P times P squared give you P cubed. And same thing over here, you can square that, 
or one times one give you one. Okay. Now you have to figure out the middle part. Okay? The middle term, because when you distribute, notice there's no middle term. So when you distribute, you have to fi you have to figure out the way to cancel the middle term, and the way to do that is take the opposite of that. So times this together and take the opposite. So it be minus two p, right? So one times two p is two p, and times my negative. So this would be opposite of that, and that's it. Okay, number twenty. Got three x squared y to the four minus eighty one x squared y. Okay, so again you have to go through the step one common factor. Okay, so three and eighty one you can factor the three. So you got x squared y to the four minus twenty seven x squared y. Now you can do more. You can do all this together one time if you want to, but I'm just doing it the long way. So you know some people are not as proficient, so they can follow. Okay. So next, um, I'm going to fact out the x square. Okay. So do the number and do the alphabet. So x square. So I get y to the four minus twenty seven y. Okay. Then I'm going to fact out the y. So I get y cube minus twenty seven, and that's it. So your step one is going to be three x square y. And then left over be um, the y cube minus twenty seven. So this is your step one. Okay. Now you have to go to step two for this. So step two is difference of squares means you have to have a square minus square. But this is not a square, so that's not it. So you go to the next step. Okay, the cube. Well, this is a cube, right? So let's go and do the cube. So make sure you follow through. That's why you always go down so you can run up so you can. Uh, uh, follow through. So you got y to the three minus three to the three, okay? Right, twenty-seven three to the three. So now you can use the cube, right? The, so one is the same size and the other one is bigger. Parentheses. Again, when you're doing the cube, you're just going to cover up the cube. So this is a single power y minus three, okay? And this would be y squared. So you squared, you get that. Or this times I give you that. Either way, so again, two way to figure out this. And negative three squared give you plus nine. Or negative three times nine give you negative twenty seven. So you can you can do the squaring or you can do the multiplying. Okay, either way they should come out the same. So again you can square that, get that, square that, get that. Or the y times y squared give you that. This times so this times that give you that. Okay, multiply to get that, multiply to get that, or just square that. Okay, now the middle term is opposite of that would so be plus three y. Right, three times y, and they have opposite, and that's it. So that's your step one and step three. Okay, so you so you kind of have to go along with just go through the list and go through each step until it's done. Okay, next one. Okay, so you got u times v minus one minus two times v minus one. Okay, so again, you go through the step. Every point you go through the step. Step one, common factor. Common factor means what they have in in, in a common or same. So notice this is the same. So this is your common factor. Okay. Okay. So common factor. So so you can factor them out. Okay. So another way you can you can do like this. Okay. So you can do the v minus one, and so it becomes u minus two. Okay. And so your answer would be v minus one. U minus two, or you can just go and take it out and whatever that over. Okay. Okay, twenty-four. You have u times v minus one minus two times one minus v. Okay, so now you don't have a common factor because they are not the same. So what you need to do is, you need to go and find a way to switch that. Okay. So and the way to switch that, the way to switch subtraction is using a negative. So use a negative to switch, so this become positive, and this become v minus one. So you can use a negative to switch them, the switch subtraction. Then after that, you can go and factor it out. Now you can do it this way, okay? Use the L method, or you can just go and factor it out. So you can you got to know what works, what's easiest for you, okay? So you can so this can come out, okay? So this becomes v minus v minus one. And the leftover would be u plus two, right? So again, when when you take it out, then it's gone, right? Okay. 
So again, you take it out, and the level will be u plus 2. Okay? So you can do it this way, or you can do it this way. Okay? Whichever makes sense to you. Okay, next one you got xy minus 2y minus x plus 2. Okay, so go to this list. So step one, common factor, what well, cannot, not, nothing to factor out among all four. So you go to step two, okay? Now this is one, two, three, four, four terms. So again, you got two terms, three terms, and rest of them. So it would be this one here. So this is called a grouping. So you need to go and group them. So what you want to do is, Normally, whatever you, whatever you have is just going to group them already. And if it doesn't work, then you try to regroup differently. Okay? So that's going to group the xy minus 2y. And you always put a plus between the group. Okay? So always put a plus between the two groups. And then you get minus x plus 2. So put these two as one group. So what you're doing is that you, you have one big problem. You break into two smaller problems. And you calculate each one individually. Okay, so for this one, so you go back to step one, right? So this one, so again, you break, so basically you have one big problem, break into two smaller problems, then you have to start from, start all over. Okay, so for this one, step one, common factor, you can factor out the y, so you get x minus two, okay? Now for this one, you have to, when you, whenever you have negative, you have to factor out the negative. So go and factor out the negative, then you're gonna get x minus two. You always check this, Negative times x give you negative x. Negative times negative 2 give you plus 2. Always do a quick check to make sure you, you factor correctly. Okay? And then from here, again, you can, do, you can do either method. So this one, you got x minus 2, x minus 2. So you can do it this way. Okay? And so you get y minus 1. Right? Again, when you factor out, it's 1. Right? You can check. So this times this give you that. This times this give you that. Okay? Nice thing about this method is that you, 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 you have less chance of forgetting this term, okay? When you do the, when, you, when you're doing this method, sometimes students forget the, you know, when you find out everything, sometimes students forget the, the last part, okay? So anyway, so you're gonna get x minus two, y minus one. Okay, 28, you got 4AB plus 1 minus 2A minus 2B. Okay, so this one, if you notice, if you group these two, this one does nothing to factor. So maybe not a good idea. So you're going you're gonna to get stuck. So in that case, you just regroup them. So instead of to group these two, that's going to group these two. So you got 4AB minus 2A. Okay, and then again, you always put a plus between the group. Okay. And then this two, I'm gonna write the alphabet first. Okay. Okay, so now let's go and do the factoring. So step one, you can factor out the two A. So it becomes two B minus one. And you can check. Two times two give you four. A times B give you A B, right? This times this give you that. So whenever you factor, oh, it's a good idea to do a quick check by just multiplying, multiplying to see if you get to do it correctly. Okay, so this one, again, there's a negative, so you have to find out a negative. So you can do a quick check. This times that give you that, this times that give you that, right? So always do a quick check, okay? Then after that, again, notice you got 2b minus one, right? So you can, you can go and do this over here, so find out 2b minus one, so that this becomes 2a. Again, you can check, this times this give you that, minus one, right? This times one give you that, right? And so that's it. So your answer would be 2b minus 1 times 2a minus 1. Okay, so it would be this and this. Okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, you got z squared plus 2z plus 1 minus w squared. Okay, so see over here, when you have four terms, you group two by two, right? Doesn't matter, but this one, notice a minus square. So whenever you have minus square, you want to group the, the square by itself. 
So, so in, in this case, you're going to group into three and one. When you don't have a square, you group into two terms and two terms. When you have a minus square, you want to group into three and one. You want to get a perfect square together. So you want to do this. Okay, and this will be by itself. Okay, and the reason for that is because you want to make this into a perfect square. Okay, so again, you go through the list, right? So step one, common factor cannot, right? So you go to step two. So step two, more than three terms, you have to do the grouping, and that's what we're doing, right? Grouping. Okay, then after that, this part, again, you have to, you have to start all over. Because you break into one big problem to two smaller problems. So this, you got two small problems, right? So you want to go and start all over. So step one, common factor. Step two, three times, check for the perfect square, right? So this would be a perfect square. And you, this one, you don't do anything yet. So this, this would be z plus one, right? So again, you square, you get that. You square, you get that. Multiply to get that, okay? Okay, so now you have a square minus square. Okay, so now it becomes this situation. So you have to keep going. When you, whenever you see square, you have to keep going. Okay, and so this would be this one here. Okay, so let's go and get two sets of parentheses plus minus, right? Okay, so whatever the first group, you want to go into the first plane. So it'd be z plus one. Okay, and it would be z plus one. So first go into the first blank. The, the, the end, go to the end, so it would be W, W, right? And you can check, right? So, so this two, this times I give you this, right? right? Z plus one times Z plus one give you Z square. Plus, minus, plus times minus give you minus. W times W give you W square, okay? Okay, next one, you got x squared minus y squared minus 4y minus 4. Okay, so again, you got minus square somewhere over here. So whenever you see minus square, that means you need to go and group 3 and 1. Okay, and, but notice this is how to go along with that, right? So you have to kind of look at the variable. This is how to go along with that. So that means you have to group these three together. This one, the minus y square, this is y, so this is how to go along with that. So we need to do this, okay? So now, you're going to group the, the last three together. Again, you always put a plus between the group, okay? This one is different, right? This, this one, you, you actually have a plus over here, but plus minus is minus, okay? But this one, you have to do additional factoring, so you need to put plus between the groups. So you got negative y squared minus 4y minus 4, okay? And then from here, again, whenever you have negative in the beginning, you have to factor out the negative. So find out the negative, you got y squared plus 4y plus 4. You always distribute and check. Okay, the next step is this, this is going to be your step 2b, right? So again, that's your step 2b, three times, you check for perfect square. So you're going to get x squared minus perfect square, so it'd be y plus 2, right? So again, y squared give you y squared, 2 squared give you 4, 2 times 2 times y give you 4y, right? So now again, now you got square minus square, right? So this is going to become step 2a, right? So that's your, that's your square minus square two times. So it gives you that. Okay, so you have to be careful with the subtraction with a whole bunch of stuff now. So the x, x goes in front, right? The first term going to the first blank. And plus times minus give you that, right? Now you have to be careful with this over here because of the minus. So I'm going to do additional step. Okay, I'm going to do additional steps. So again, the, the end, go to the end, right? Now you have to distribute the negative over that. So it becomes x plus y plus 2. This becomes x minus y minus 2. Okay, and that's it.